Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do, I think it's a full moon reading, right? It's a daily vibes, but I believe we have a full moon tomorrow. So, let's see what we got. What do we have for a message today? What is this, what is this full moon bringing in? Mmm. The card came flying out. This is only lust. This is only lust. Be careful. Lust is, you know, devil energy. Lust is something you don't really need, but you want. It's a, it's a desire, okay? So there's going to be a flood of desires that are coming about. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Whatever it is. I gotta have it. <laughs> Pay attention to your intuition because there's a change that is coming. Highly intuitive at this time. Owls are a symbol of change. And, and certain cultures, it's a symbol of death, which is a symbol of transformation. There's a transformation. There's a major change that is about to happen. Listen to your intuition. You are very, very highly intuitive at this moment. <laughs> secret admirer. We have a secret admirer here. Somebody is hiding behind a mask. They may be offering you a gift. Beware. So this has to do with a karmic contract. It has to do with justice. What goes around comes around. Be careful with your choices because there's a big decision that is about to be made. Listen to your intuition. You're gonna be receiving a gift, it looks as it appears or an opportunity or an invite from somebody that is probably watching you intently. This person is watching. There's a message that is coming. This doesn't appear to be anything but lust. And lust is not just sexual. You have to look beyond the surface. That's part of this message. Look beyond the surface. What you see at face value is not what you get. Look deep. You're going to have to look deeper. Because there's something that is hidden. This is about the decisions that you make. Be careful with the decisions that you make. Mm. The hangman says the hanged one. It looks to me as though this is a time of incubation. It's a time of sacrifice. It's a waiting period. Somebody has been waiting. They have been waiting for the right time. It's interesting because the hangman is represented by Pisces. And this is a Pisces full moon. So it appears that 
We have somebody here that is waiting for the perfect moment, okay? To show their face. Could also be dealing with a Libra. Doesn't matter though, we, it doesn't matter. We definitely have somebody here that is hiding behind a mask. They're hiding, they're hiding something. There's some sort of consequences here. You know that something is coming. You know that it's coming, it's coming. You def it's definitely coming. You know that it's coming. Get prepared, get prepared. Something is about to happen. It's about to happen, get prepared. It's a major change. You know, if you think about that owl, the owl is a symbol of change. If you think about death, with death there is new life. And we do have a new life here. We have somebody here that has been waiting for the perfect moment Okay, they've been waiting for the mo perfect moment. The moment is about to come. It may not be quite time yet. It feels like it's not quite time yet. We do have a realignment that is happening. Everything is going to turn out as it should. You may be going through a period of isolation. You may be going through a period of thinking and transformation this is all happening for a reason you may be learning a karmic lesson hey man's a lesson right next to it is the karma card it's a karmic lesson spiritual transformation with that our owl, owl card you know i feel like there is a spiritual transformation that is going on we do have a major change that is coming a message is coming The High Priestess, highly, highly, highly intuitive. It's a time of reflection. It's a time to go within and use your gifts, use your inner gifts, use your intuition. This is a time of enlightenment, going within, thinking about, thinking about everything that has happened, thinking about your future, thinking about your life, listen to your gut, I feel like we have somebody here that is in a situation that is only lust. That card comes first. Then the owl, owl card, which is change. So I feel like we have a change. Somebody's about to change. They're about to change their contract. It's time. It's just, it's time. It's time. It's time to be born. It's time to be reborn. It's time for a new life. But this is definitely thinking, reflecting, going within, a spiritual awakening. So yeah, I feel like we do have somebody here that's going through a spiritual awakening. Receiving lots of messages, intuitive messages. You're going to be re receiving lots of intuitive messages during this time. <laughs> You may know that somebody is hiding something. Okay, you may know that. There is somebody here that is hiding something. They're keeping, their, they're keeping it to themselves. They may be intimidated. They're thinking right now. Two of Cups reverse. Somebody is uh, in a partnership that is not compatible. There may be a breakup. There may be a separation. Maybe somebody's choosing to be alone. They want to be alone. They'd rather be alone than be in this partnership that is only lust. Two Cups reverse. That's not love. It's not. It's not a spiritual union. It's not compatible. There's fighting. There's arguing. It's. It's. Uh, there's no unity. There's a lack of equality. Somebody's slipping away. They've been slipping away. And I feel like they know. It's like they know that this isn't what they want. Two 
really reflecting, somebody is really reflecting on their partnership. Could even have to do with a friendship. Whatever this partnership is, it doesn't have to be between lovers. It's not, it could be unrequited love. There's no reciprocation. So somebody's really reflecting on the partnership. There's no unity. There's no equality. There's probably some sort of abuse or neglect or there's an imbalance. King of Wands reversed. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius not taking much action, not doing anything, a lack of desire, lack of ambition, a lack of, uh, somebody's not following their intuition. It's like they know that they, that they need to go in another direction, but they're fearful. They know because the high priestess is there. They know, they know they need to take action. There's anger, there's indecisiveness, weakness, Somebody's intuition is telling them that the partnership that they are engaging in is not compatible. They may be secretly admiring somebody else. Um, King of Wands, reverse. It's not taking any action. <clears throat> Lack of confidence, going downhill, no self esteem, no desire. Let's get another card. Depleted. Tower. It's a tower reverse. This is a permanent loss. It is a permanent loss. This is a fight. Could be a huge fight. This is extremely unstable. We have somebody here that's in, 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 in an extremely unstable foundation. And they've been trying to avoid change. They've been trying to, but they can't avoid it. It's unavoidable. This has to do with a partnership. It does. With the Two of Cups. Somebody is, this is trying to avoid it. Trying to avoid chaos. Trying to avoid upheaval. Trying to avoid moving. Trying to avoid a fight. You know, somebody has been not taking any action because they didn't want to, they were trying to avoid. Trying to avoid the chaos, but there's going to be chaos. There's going to be an uproar. There's going to be a fight. There's going to be something big that happens. This is a permanent loss. This is, you never saw it coming. We have somebody here, and you may have sensed it though, because a high priest just senses things. But we do have a permanent loss here. There's, there's also health problems. Somebody's health may be declining. Because they're in a partnership where there's no unity, there's no reciprocation, there's no love, you know. And when you stay in things just for all the wrong reasons, everything goes to shit. But people don't get it, but whatever. Anyway, false sense of security. That's what the tower is. False, fa fa false foundation. Crumbling. Fast, probably. Extremely fast. Falling. Falling to the ground. Can't stop it from happening. You know it's coming. This partnership isn't compatible. It's only lust. There's going to be a change. And lust could be materialism. You think about the devil card. Could be codependency. Could be greed. Could be sex. Could be instant gratification. Could be addictions. It's something you don't need. You don't need it, you should need, you need to get rid of it, but for some reason you need the attention it gives you. It gives you something, it gives you something. There's gonna be a profound life change, there is. Somebody is about, there's a car, it feels like there's a karmic debt that is about to come to an end, okay? Somebody's been hiding for a, from a, behind a mask. They've been thinking about everything that is happening, really thinking a lot, going within, contemplating. They know that it's time to make a decision. They know that it's time for a change. They know that it's about time. It's just about time. It is. It's just about time. It, well, the universe is here, so there's a universal change that is coming. It's, it's unavoidable. 
it is unavoidable. Somebody's been biding their time. This is all about timing. It really is. They've been biding their time in a false sense of security, avoiding chaos, you know, avoiding upheaval, avoiding the argument, avoiding the breakup, avoiding the separation. Knowing that it's coming, it's clear that it's coming, it's clear. Um, but I think it's time. I do think it's time. It's time for, for this to happen. It is time. This is a painful change. This is an unhealthy partnership. It's an unhealthy, whatever it is, and it could be just an addiction that you're partnered up with. It's an unhealthy union. There's about to be a shakeup. There's about to be a disturbance. There's about to be, somebody's about to get a rude awakening. Strength reverse, very weak. We got somebody here next to the King of Wands reverse. We have a weak, in the tower reverse, we have a weak foundation. We have somebody here that's weak. They are unstable, they're depressed, they're depleted. They don't have any courage. They're held back by fear. They're they're uh, being forced. It's almost like they're being forced. They're, they're being forced to stay or they just don't have the courage to leave. But the universe or karma sees all. There's going to be a universal change here. We have somebody here that is too weak to take action. There's going to be upheaval. It's unavoidable. major completion of a cycle the end the end of a project the end of a phase this cycle is over this is leaving the past behind moving towards the future we have somebody here that is ending a cycle somebody it's over it's over this is the it this is goodbye. This is the end. It's the end of a journey. It's the end of a chapter. The lesson, this is learned a lesson. This partner, I was, gonna, I was clarifying the two of cups reversed. We have a partnership that is no longer on the same page. It is coming to a completion. It's coming to an end. It is coming to an end. We had two more cards fall out. Queen of Wands reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. Now, now we have the King of Wands reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed. That's not a good match. It's, it's not, unfortunately. They're both reversed. This is a separation. This is the end. This is the end. Okay, there's no going back. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. There could be another man. There could be another woman. There, there's somebody here that is no longer putting in any effort. They're not doing anything. They're not trying. They're not interested. There's no passion. There's no desire. They're giving up. It's like two people are giving up on each other. They're not even in love. There's no love here in these cards. None. Not even any. None. 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 King, of, King and Queen of Wands reverse. It's not a good match. It may have been at the beginning, but it feels like it was built on false ground from the beginning. You know, towers right next to it. It was built on unstable ground from the beginning. We may have had somebody here that was weak and was codependent and didn't want to be alone, so they jumped. They jumped into a partnership, you know, without thinking. Um, somebody tried to force a relationship that was just lust. It was based on sex. It was based on sexual desires. There was no love connection there. Codependency. There's going to be a realignment. We have a partnership here that is separating. We have two people that are separating. This, this cycle is over. This is goodbye with that world card. This cycle is over. Somebody has been in a partnership that was based just on lust. That lustful partnership is coming to an end. There's somebody else. There is somebody else. Somebody was trying to force. It's like I was trying to, it's like they were trying to force. They were trying to force 
a connection with somebody that they weren't compatible with just because they didn't want to be alone. So anyway, I feel like we have a separation here. Giving up. Stepping into new territory. There's a change that you never saw coming. We have somebody here that's sick as well. They're sick. They're weak. They're maybe even ill. This could be a collapse. We may even have a collapse here with the tower reverse and the ten of swords reversed. I mean, and there's strength reverse. This is sick, okay? It's it's some sort of sickness, illness. You know, when you when you stay in a false sense of security, you know, stress kills. It does. When you're not getting loved, <laughs> people think that, you know, money's all to happiness. That's not true. There's no money in these cards. None. There's no money and ain't no love. Because, you know, you may go down that path for a little while and you may get your abundance for a little while, but it's all going to dissipate. Anyhow, no success. We have, we, have, we have somebody here that is saying goodbye to a partnership. They're letting it go. Their intuition is guiding them to go in a new direction. They're breaking free. There's been disrespect. There's been uh, some sort of betrayal with the Ten of Swords reverse. There's been force. There's been instability. There's been insecurity. It's been shaky for a while. It's time. It's time. It's time for this realignment. You know that it is. Get prepared. Good luck. <laughs>